If you need quick and small farms for your survival world, this is the right video for you. 5 useful micro farms. Let's go. Let's start with farm number 1, and that is a micro crop farm. So you take out some carrots, turn the farm on, and plant the carrots down. Behind there a dispenser shoots out some bone meal, as you can see, and the bone meal grows the carrots. Of course, this design also works with potatoes. And here are all of the items you will need for this build. Feel free to pause the video here. So first, break two blocks and place a chest down in there. Break one block behind the chest, crouch and right click the chest with a hopper in your hand, so it will connect. You can test this out as well. And it works. Above the hopper, we will place a dirt block. Usually, you don't want to do this, but because in here you use farmland, all of the items will go through it inside the chest. Now take out a stair and some pin limb blocks, place them on the sides, in here like so. Place a water bucket inside the stair and then a dispenser on top of the stair. Now you can take out your hoe and turn the dirt into farmland. You can also place a stair right on top of the chest in here. You can still open it as you can see. On the right side, place two blocks and also one block in here. Then we need to do this part. So place down a block in here and a lever. Down here goes a sticky piston. So once you flick the lever, the piston goes up. Observer goes in here. Turn the lever and place a second observer pointing into this one. Now place a block in here. Go three blocks up and place a sticky piston pointing down from here. You can break this block up there. Then place a new block in here, a repeater pointing into it, set to 4 ticks, 2 redstone dust, and 1 redstone dust also in here. Then let's place a 1 block above the farmland. So now when you turn this on, it's working. Now take out your ball meal and fill this dispenser all the way up. Then turn this on and plant down some potatoes or carrots. And that's how it works, a simple micro crop farm. The next farm on the list is a simple concrete maker. So place the concrete powder inside this chest and take some of the concrete powder and place it in your offhand and this is how it works. So you go in here and hold your left click and your right click and that's how you can make loads of concrete. And once again, here are the items you need for this concrete maker. So first, let's place down a double chest, a hopper on top, and one hopper pointing into that hopper. Behind here, let's place one plank, and yes, it has to be a plank, and one slab in here. Also needs to be a plank. The reason why we need planks here is because you can break them too quickly with your pickaxe. If you use stone, you will just accidentally mine them instantly. Then place some blocks here, all the way back. Go three blocks high. Same thing on this side. In here we will place our observer and our dispenser. So break those. Now place dispenser in here and observer in here. Place blocks behind the observer and the dispenser and also place one redstone dust in here. Now take out a sign and place the sign in here. Now your water bucket, place the water bucket in here. Place down a hopper and a chest on top of it. Also place one block up there so the blocks can't get stuck in there. And by blocks, I mean the concrete blocks. Quite a nice and simple concrete maker, I gotta say. The next form of the list is the simplest on the list as well. And it's a simple lava farm. Now this is how it works. You take out some empty buckets, and this is how you get some lava. It's a simple form, but it can be super handy if you have a small super smelter. So you take out 9 cauldrons and place them in here like so. Then 3 blocks above the cauldrons. Place 9 dripstone blocks, and then 9 dripstone hanging from the dripstone blocks. Take out some glass, build some walls on the sides so the lava doesn't fall out. And then we will also need 9 buckets of lava, because these have to be source blocks. So place the lava in here. And now that's farm number 3, the simplest farm 
on the list. And then we need sugarcane. Every single world needs a sugarcane farm, especially if you like to fly with your elytra. You need sugarcane to make paper, and you need paper to make rockets. And here are all the items you will need for this sugarcane farm. Now let's start by placing down a chest. Place a hopper behind it, always crouch and right click the chest so it will connect. Then up here goes a rail, two blocks on the sides, hopper minecart on top, then a dirt block on top in here. Let's place a stair in here, blocks on the sides, and also one stair in the back in here. Then place blocks right next to the stair and place down a water bucket. Then some more blocks. Then we need a piston and a observer. Piston goes here, observer on top, block behind it, and one redstone dust. Get some blocks on the sides. Then some glass here on the front. Then four slabs around it like so. If you build this in a dark area, replace this glass block with a light source block like a jack-o-lantern or a glowstone. And there you go, a simple sugarcane farm. This will also work with bamboo. Then farm number 5, a wool farm. Let's shoot a sheep, and when it eats some grass, redstone will activate. And there we go. Quite handy, am I right? Here are all the items you will need for this sheep farm. Let's start by placing down a double chest, a hopper pointing into it, some rails, a hopper minecart, grass on top, also the sides and also the front, one upside down stair so we can open the chest, behind here let's place a block, a observer and a dispenser on top. Behind the observer let's place a billy block and one redstone dust on top. You can take out some glass and some more building blocks and place one above the dispenser and at this part get your sheep up there. Because I'm in creative mode I can use a spawn egg but you will have to make yourself a staircase like so and pull the sheep up here with a lead. Sheep goes down and then let's take out some shears and place them inside here. And take out some slabs and place them in here. And there you go, five useful micro farms. And right now, I think you should watch this video next. I'll see you in the next one. My name is Cayman. Mm -hmm. Bye bye.